but it also has Pirate Ships, it also has Nutcracker, it also right. has like, Bread Man and things like that. It, exactly. it, has, like, it has a lot of different things inside of it. Uh, we talked before about how it has like a, the Polar Express and Peter Pan kind of feel to it because we followed this character, uh, Garrett, uh-huh. throughout his adventure with, uh, like you, you see Garrett with his fairy mother or fairy godmother, I guess, like you want to put a, a feel to it. And like the planet itself is filled with snow and candy canes. It's uh, it's full on Christmas themed. It's full on like everything Christmas about it. But mm-hmm. uh, when you, when you read this story, you get that feel that, like there there's more behind the surface of this than that we're actually getting. Is uh, this is only the first issue? Yeah, and, yeah. It's very one of three. One of three. Yes. And I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna explain to us like why why we have like these kids like these human kids that that seem to be orphaned being raised by fairies it's just right. i don't want you to give me any spoilers or anything but like what what was your uh what was your your your, your thought process behind putting all of this together as it is yeah so the the idea with the kids kind of came from like the point is um I didn't want to really have um, like fathers and mothers of these kids because I want, especially the main character, I want it to just be anybody. I want people to kind of be able to think about what they like, how they like Christmas and kind of put themselves in that character who's just trying to kind of salvage his world and save his friends and find Father Christmas and uh, who he thinks can, you know, um, save the world with his magic. Um, and that gets more complicated as the, the story goes on. But um, that was really the idea with the, uh, keeping the characters um, parentless. They have, they're, guard, they're guarded by the fairy godmothers, but they're really the only humans on that, the planet itself. Right. They're really the only humans and they fall from the sky. They have no parents. Kind of like a, you're, you're writing these characters as being like pure innocence is what you're trying to talk about. Pretty much, about. exactly. And so when Garrett, he, Garrett, who's a pacifist, goes into this world that's war-torn, and tries to make alliances with people, it gets really difficult. He gets really disillusioned. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, that's what the story is really about. 